Hi, my name is LaDonna, and our hope for today is from Psalm 123, 1 and 2. To you I lift up my eyes, O you who are enthroned in the heavens. Behold, as the eyes of servants look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a maidservant to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God, till he has mercy upon us. This morning, my question for you is, where are you looking? Or perhaps better said, where will you look today? Some years ago, one sunny and beautiful late spring afternoon, the 18-year-old son of friends of ours was driving west on a two-lane highway. The roads were clear, there was very little traffic, but he drove off the road into the ditch and he died instantly. What happened? The accident investigation revealed the tragic cause of the crash. The young driver reached over to pick something up from the floor of the passenger seat, and in doing so, he took his eyes off the road and looked to the right and turned his steering wheel ever so slightly in the direction he was looking. Do you remember your driving instructor saying, keep your eyes on the road. You will always steer in the direction you're looking. The psalmist says, to you lift, I lift up my eyes, O you who are enthroned in the heavens. He is deliberately choosing to not look around him and become distracted by his circumstances or look at himself or inside of himself at his feelings. He concentrates his focus on the one who dwells in the heavens, the trustworthy one, the faithful one. So what happens when we focus our eyes on the one who is above all? Everything changes. Everything? Really? Yes, even in the moment you may be putting your last paycheck in the bank or spending your last dollar in your bank account, everything changes. Can looking at Jesus do that? Yes, when we look at him, our upset stomach stops churning because we begin to realize that what comes from this God that we serve always is undeserving and unfailing mercy. Our shaken confidence slowly but surely is replaced with a settled strength of trust. Because we look in the right direction and we will look, and where we are looking, we are going. So where are you looking? Remember, you will steer in the direction you are looking. When I was a teen, my father bought a lakefront property in BC's Okanagan, and I was conscripted to be on his work crew building the cabin. I had many roles on this work crew, but the one that sticks in my mind most was holding his work light while he measured, sawed, or hammered. Now, based on the feedback that I got, I came to the conclusion this work was not part of my gift set. In fact, I can still hear his voice echoing in my head. I heard it many, many times. LaDonna, stop shining the light in my face. Look at what I am doing. Watch my hands so you can anticipate where I need the light. Now, it could be that the memory of this is so vivid because I may or may not have heard these same words more recently from my husband. I guess one question I have is, why is it I always end up holding the light for the men in my life? Well, I believe the psalmist just might be highlighting for us the same thing my father said to me. As the eyes of the servant look to the hand of the master, as the eyes of a maidservant to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God till he has mercy upon us. Perhaps another way to say this might be, look with determination with disciplined focus at God first. And don't look away so you can be in tune with what he is doing, where he is going, so you can simply respond to the movement of his hands. Now from my vast experience of holding lights, I can assure you that to do this well, you have to be determined not to be distracted. You have to watch intently regardless of an itch on your nose, a shiny ball bouncing by, or a sudden pain in your back. It takes determination and persistence and sometimes courage to keep looking at the right place. What happens when I do this? I begin to see ways in which God in His mercy has preserved me, has come through for me again, and I develop the muscle of dependence. And when I depend on Him, I begin to live out 
of an awareness that my future is secure and I discover the direction for my next steps. So this morning, where are you looking? To you I lift up my eyes, O you who are enthroned in the heavens. Our eyes look to the Lord our God till we see the mercy he always has for his children. Mm -hmm.